Hi everybody, Ellen Canner here. Today I'm very excited to be making a recipe from Miami Vegan, a Miami favorite around here. I'm going to start by heating up a little oil, olive oil. Um, I know there are so many commercial plant-based meats out there. What if you made your own? Picadillo, which is an almost every Cuban eatery, is ground meat with tomatoes and oregano, and it's savory with capers and olives and a little sweet with raisins. It's delicious, but it's not vegan, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna make our own plant-based cheer here, and the star again are brown lentils, same as last week. I'm gonna start by heating up some onion. Ooh, we got some sizzle going. It's about a cup of diced onion and about a teaspoon of chopped garlic. I am using the last of my beautiful Pardino organic lentils from Timeless, but you can find brown lentils in your supermarket, but I urge you to get timeless. They're organic. They have a whole range of products. I have really gotten turned on to their barley and they'll give you a discount if you order soon. I'm going to give you the discount code at the end of this video. So now I'm going to add chopped red pepper and I'm going to bring you closer so you can see the action. Now I'm gonna add my seasonings, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of smoked paprika. These are seasonings that are in traditional picadillo. We are keeping all the flavors and just making our own plant-based meat about two cups of tomato or a can of diced tomato. And we're gonna get that so everything cooks down for a minute. So here's another reason to love dried lentils or really any dried beans. I started with about, about one and a quarter cups dried. This is the magic of lentil increase. This is three cups of cooked lentils, in they go. And one cup of chopped walnuts. Walnuts are my most favorite of nuts. They are rich in omega-3s. I love the kind of ruffly texture. When I was little, they kind of scared me. Walnuts were strange. Now I love them. Embrace the strange. So I'm not using any commercial plant-based meat because you can get the same satisfaction with this. I love using whole foods. Lentils have a sort of meaty umami chew anyway, and walnuts add some wonderful fatness. So you get all the fun, all the flavor. And now I'm gonna add my last little bits. For savory, one third cup chopped olives. Everybody out. One tablespoon capers. They're good. In they go. And one third cup raisins. The olives and capers add some nice saltiness and savoriness. And the raisins add a little bit of sweetness. This is absolutely traditional seems a little nutty but it <laughs> walnutty but it's it's crazy good and the little hint of sweetness means this is a particularly kid friendly dish so you add some sea salt i have this great sea salt blend from spice lab that has a lot of the same spices i used before it's got little oregano little um, a little cumin little pepper so i'm going to give that a go I'm loving Spice Lab these days. They are Florida-based, so I love them for that. And my olive oil, by the way, is Piero from Italy. It is the most antioxidant olive oil. 
which is great, but I also love it because it's super grassy, super fragrant, has a high smoke point, and look guys, we're done. It's very bright and colorful, and it's bright and flavorful too. It is traditionally served over white rice, I would suggest brown. A, a filling for empanadas, if you are talented that way. I really am not a stuffer. Uh, it's also great on tacos. We love our tacos. Steaming and good and beautiful. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna give it one more look for you. And I It's got it all. Terrific meaty texture, great flavor. I love the way the olives kind of lift it up and the raisins kind of take it in another direction. This is Miami Vegan. Who needs the meat? You can make the magic yourself. Till next time, everyone. This is Ellen Kanner. Thanks. Bye-bye.